what's the three keys that you feel um, folks don't focus enough on or you would say to someone starting out? Uh, start while you have a paying job. Um, that way, <laughs> that way you can, um, the, the nice thing is if you, if you start while you have a paying job, right, you can slowly build it and learn things and, and progress. And as you make some money in that business, you can put it right back in the, in the business and you're not worried about having to pay for your family yourself or anything like that. Right. Um, and again, the beauty is, is you're learning things at a smaller level and there, you don't have risk. You don't have as as much risk, right? Because at that point, it's fifty bucks here to start a you know LLC and you know a couple other you know hundred dollars to get a website up and done. You're not talking thousands and thousands sure. of dollars. You're right. talking hundreds of dollars if you do it this way. Um, you know the other thing is is really just you, you have to you have to just start again. People just nuke the shit out of this stuff, and um, I, you know talk to guys all the time where they're spending thousands and thousands of dollars in legal fees just to establish a biz a business plan and non-disclosure agreements and all this stuff and I was like but but why are you doing that because no offense no one cares about your right now hobby or idea right like mm. um like you know just you know a big name in the tactical space like like cry for example cry's mm. not going to come after you because you've got something, you know, it, they're not, it, they're not afraid of it because you're, you're, you're nobody at the end of the day. So, you know, once you start getting on their radar and they start sending you those cease and desist letters, Hey, then it's a win because of course, yeah, <laughs> they, 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 you, you know, you, you've, you've pissed off somebody. So right. you're, you're on the right thing. So number uh, one is just get started. Yep. So number one, just get started in that. Uh, uh, well, the, the, the first one was the first one was uh, start while you have a paying job. Right. So so I, I think that's that's critical in that is um, the guys that are transitioning. So to really start early, I guess, into that. So, yeah, that would that would be it. And then, I, you know, for me, I was the, the second one was really you got to start it. I guess you could combine those one and two uh, in the same one. Uh, two for for me. When, uh, when, you're, when you're looking at these ideas and technologies and products, really look at like, how, you're, how you're different and, and how you exploit being different and those, and those gaps in that, right? Because like, that really helps set us apart from anything else that we're doing. Um, I, I, I really feel like uh, guys want to start, you know, again, you go look at the, look at the uh industry or our tactical space, you know, before it was t-shirts and then it's, you know, now it's kind of the coffee thing and nothing against those, but like you can make great money and there's definitely a space for it, but figure out how you're unique, even within that space. If you're going to make t-shirts, figure out how you're going to be unique within that t-shirt company or, or t-shirt industry, right? So not just we're going to make funny t-shirts, but like truly what's the core messaging of that company and how are you going to, you know, segment, segment yourself from the other funny t-shirt companies right. that are out there. Um, and, and then, uh, third, third thing with that is, you know, gain, gain mentorships from others that have done it for, that have done it with you or, or that have done things in the past doesn't necessarily mean that um, they're in your space or um, uh, um, industry or anything like that. And, and, and quite frankly, I would say it's better for them not to be. And, and the reason I say that is because, is like, for me, you know, we, we would always make fun of each other, in, you know, in a platoon, right? Because when, when you're in a platoon and you're problem solving, if you have 16 SEALs sitting around, you know, a, a problem, you're going to get a seal answer at the end of the day. You know, if you have, if you have 32 guys in a room and there's a couple seals, there's a couple PJs, there's a couple infantry guys, there's a couple Intel guys, there's a couple, uh, admin guys, then you're going to get a whole different answer, right? It's not going to be seal heavy. It's not going to be Intel heavy. It's not going to be this. You're, you're getting a comprehensive kind of answer to the, to the problem that's a, in front of you. Um, and then ultimately you got to make a decision of how you're going to move forward and, and, and again, go back to point one and just start.